there are a very large number of labs that work on the honeybee. People study everything from behavior to the genetics. There are people certainly who are looking at colony collapse. So there, there are an established large groups of people working on the honeybee. With regards to the microbiome, that's only been very recently um, discovered. And with regards to the honeybee, I kind of became drawn to the system after learning about how they process their food, how they collect their food, and what they do with it inside of the hive. And it, I found it fascinating that this organism can go out into the world, collect all these plant uh, associated products, bring them back in to the colony, and add their own glandular secretions and microbes to those products in order to make the food that they eat. And we also are interested in and, and uh, completing a study now on antibiotic treatments and how treatment of your colonies with antibiotics alters microbial composition. And that's particularly important because honeybees are an agricultural insect. And you've probably been hearing about in the news all these large-scale farms treat their animals with antibiotics, essentially as a prophylactic to prevent infection. For honeybees, it was a common practice uh, until very recently. And so beekeepers would treat their bees twice a year with the antibiotic tetracycline. And we're trying to identify what this does to the microbial community and how that might impact the health of the honeybee. Bees are extremely important to food security and because of their pollination efforts. But without honeybees, we're talking about the loss of vast quantities of the produce section. So it's not just that things would get more expensive, it's because we wouldn't have the ability to grow some of these vegetables and fruits. You know, I think I'm passionate about the science, but I think in terms of their importance, to food security, I think that's an important thing for people to consider.